In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an app install campaign in Google Ads. So you may have created an app and you want to promote the app, right? So you want to get more downloads, more installs, more people using it on an active basis. So one of the most powerful ways you can do this is by creating an app install campaign inside Google Ads. So I'm going to take you through step by step on exactly how to create this. Before I do, you know the ropes hit that subscribe button, hit the notifications button. So when I do create new content, you'll be the first to be notified. If you have got an app and uh, you want to know more about how you can make it create an even a more advanced campaign in Google Ads, then drop me your comments in the comments area below. Or if you've got any questions regarding the app install campaign, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you. So what I'm going to show you is how to create an app install campaign in Google Ads. Let's get on with the show. So as always, I've got this test account that I've, I've created so that I can demonstrate various campaigns. So the first thing you do is you click on the plus symbol and you click on new campaign here. And then what you want to do is you get all these options here and you can click on this option here, which is called the app promotion. Now, when I create campaigns, I normally go for this because I don't like Google guiding me in terms of what options are available. But for the, for the sake of this video, because I want to make it as easy as possible, we just need to click on the app promotion icon here. And then it gives you one option here, which is already selected. So there we go, select it again. And then what we want to do is that we want to choose this option, which is app installs campaign. Now, there are more advanced campaigns that you can use, which is like the app engagement campaigns. But as it says that you need at least 50,000 installs in order to start using that. So that is what, what that's really good for is if you want to see what the user behavior is or you want to achieve certain goals once somebody's downloaded your app. OK, uh, and then we've got this app pre-registration, but that's for Android only. So let's keep it simple and let's go for the app install campaigns for now. Then we scroll down uh, and then we get a choice of do we want to create a, a, the app campaign, app install campaign for Android or iOS. For the sake of this video, I'm going to use Android. And one of the reasons I'm going to use Android is because the tracking is a lot more complicated in iOS. So in Android, it's a lot more easier. Uh, so in terms of how to track your your uh, um, app installs. I will do that on an, a different video. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to choose Android for now. And then what we need to do is we need to search for our app. Now I'm going to choose a demonstration app here. So I'm just going to type in something like Skype. Oops, see if I can spell it correctly. Skype. And here it is. So I'm going to pretend that that's my app that I want to install. But you would obviously uh, search for your own app. Obviously, it will be installed, it will be uploaded within uh, Google Play or the iOS. Uh, and then what you need to do is give it a, a campaign name. So I'm going to call it um, app install, and then I'm going to call it Android. Skype Android. Okay, so I just know by looking at this exactly what the campaign is for, uh, the app that I'm trying to uh, try to get installs for, and um, the operating system that I want the app th this campaign for. I would advise you have a separate campaign for iOS. Then you click on continue, and then I'm uh, because I already started one previously. I'll, uh, for the for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to click on start new. And then what you get here, you get your options here. So you, so it's showing me the actual app, and then it's showing me the uh, locations where I want the ad to be shown into. Now, first of all, I would definitely avoid all countries and territories because it's going to chew your budget away. And then you've got United Kingdom. So you can choose that if you really choose to. But what I like to do is I like to start off a little bit narrow. So I like to go into a specific location first, do all my experimenting, get all the optimization done, <clears throat> and then spread uh, outwards. So for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to choose London. 
because then I can experiment with a smaller budget, uh, get it working, and then I can start rolling it outwards. Now, here's a really important option, location options. It's absolutely essential that you click on here and you click on the, choose this option here, which is presence people in or regularly in your target locations. Google will uh, choose this option by default and surprise, surprise, it will make more money from this section as well. Just try to avoid it because anyone who's shown an interest in your location, Google will show them your, your ad. So we want to control our budget. So definitely choose this option over here. So you know that everyone's in London. Now, uh, languages, I'm going to leave as default for now. Uh, there is a topic around it, but I'm just going to leave it as default to English for now. If you click on more settings, you've got the option of a start date and end date. So if you, especially if you wanted to conduct an experiment, you can say, hey, when I want this, uh, this to start and when I want it to finish. And then you can, you have got the option of supplying a, a data feed into in, in, into Google Ads to promote various things, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it super simple for now. And then we're going to click on the next option here. You give it your daily budget and have a reasonable daily budget. So for the sake of this uh, experiment, I'm going to choose uh, 10 pounds for now. And then what you do is you say, uh, what, what do you want to focus on? And at the moment, you'll only have the option of install uh, uh, um, sorry, <laughs> install volume. You won't have these options because you've got no tracking installed at this point in time. Okay, so let me click on that option again. And then we need to install the tracking. So we click on this add conversion action here. And we're going to add our tracking. So we can call this Android installs our app itself so we just can select the app and now we can assign a value so we can say that don't use a value for this conversion or we can assign a value to it so if we know that every download is worth a certain amount to us so we can say every every download is worth 25 pounds to us or something we can enter that value into there then it gives you some basic information about your, your click-through window, your enge engagement conversion window, your view-through conversion window. So let's leave that alone for the sake of this demonstration. And then we click on Create Continue. Oops, okay, so I'm going to call it App Installs. I'm going to call it Mobile Installs. Click on create and continue. And now you can see that how easy it was to set up the Android conversion tracking now. It's it's a little bit more difficult to set up the iOS tracking, uh, simply because of the fallouts with uh, with iOS and all the other platforms. So in, in order to set up the iOS conversion tracking, you can go to Google Analytics and use GA4 event tracking in order to set up a conversion in there and add that into your Google Ads. But I will cover that on a different video. Another choice is that you can use a third party tracking facilities. But for the sake of this video, I want to keep it super simple. And that's why I chose to, to demonstrate how to do a mobile app install for the Android platform. So then you click on done. And what you'll be able to see, if you scroll down, you can see the actual conversion in this download section here. And you can click on it here. If you did want to edit anything, you can click on the edit. For example, if you thought that, hey, you know, it's not £25 per install, it's actually worth, I don't know, £19 per install. You can enter that into, into here and click on the save button and so on. Okay. Then you click on the done and click on back and there it is again and now let's go back into your campaign now that the conversion has been set up we're now going to go back into your campaign so i'm simply going to click on the back button and what you find is that your campaign is there in draft mode if it's not in draft mode sometimes you won't see a campaign don't panic because all you need to do is to click on create campaign and there'll be an option here for resume draft okay so you can do that and it'll get you get back into it so then you can click on the finish so what you'll find is as soon as you hit resume it'll take you back to where you left off so you can now in this case 
I just need to actually create the ads. And most of you will be very familiar with how to create the ads. You know, it's got the standard headline uh, fields here, the, the description lines, images, videos, and HTML5. So what I do recommend is try to fill these, these in as much as possible. Now your headlines, you know, have a variation of headlines. Some which are going to be called to action. Some are going to have your main keyword in. Some are going to uh, create that fear of missing out. So, so you know, we've got limited offers or something like that. Um, so, which creates a sense of urgency. At the same time, what you can also do, you can click on the preview uh, option here, so to see what the actual ad will look like. It gives you small preview. So, in display, search on the YouTube channel, uh, discovery, uh, let the YouTube channel load, so it'll be down there on the discovery. And on over here, on, you know, I've done discovery as well, and on Google Google Play. So what I'm gonna do for now, I'm gonna fill this in to stop you waiting, I'm gonna pause the video so I can quickly fill it in, and then we go to the next stage. So as you can see here, I've filled in some headlines. I've only put about four or five in for now. This, obviously, we want to get up to good or excellent as much as possible, but, but just for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to leave it where it is. And again, you can add images, so can, all you've got to do is click on the image button here, choose your images, and make sure that um, when, you, when you do save your image, hang on a second, I didn't do this this time, what you can do, let me do it again, So when you do save your image, it will be over here, and then click on the pencil symbol, just to make sure that this frame is nicely centered so you can see exactly what you need to see. Click on select ratio, and then click on the save button. And once you've done that, you simply click on next. And then simply just click on the publish ca campaign button. It will do its uh, checks to make sure that there's no errors or anything invalid. And there you have your campaign. And, you know, obviously apply all the good practices by renaming your ad groups, renaming your campaigns to something a bit more meaningful. Like in this case, I'm going to type in Skype. Click on Save. And that is it. That is how you create a Google Ads campaign for app, app installs. And in this uh, demonstration, I created it for the Android platform. And like I said earlier, we can do exactly the same for the iOS platform, except the tracking is a little bit more complicated. I will cover that in a different video. So if you've got any comments about app install campaigns for Google Ads, uh, or if you've got an app and you want to promote your app and you want to, to know strategies on how to get the app out there, put your comments below in the comments area and I will get back to you on every single comment. And do remember to subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you on another video. Goodbye for now.